January 1st, 2018, New Year's Day. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, I am God the Father, creator of all good. Today, as this new year unfolds, I come to reveal to you directions and warnings which will be necessary to know ahead of time. The collusions between Russia, China, North Korea, and Iran will become more open and obvious. Their evil tilts towards the promotion of a one-world order, a government of evil. There will be even greater friction between Israel and its neighboring countries. President Trump will have to take a firm stand. In this country, you will see greater chasms between liberalism and conservatism. While the economy strengthens, the good of this administration will continue to be downplayed. Stricter policies against terrorism will be put into place. This will affect immigration. The great and natural resources of this country will be brought to the forefront and strengthen the national image. This ministry will continue to be a solace to the remnant faithful. Many changes are in hearts in Rome, changes heretofore unthought of. If they come to light, people will need to choose between obedience to title and authority or obedience to the truth. The focus of the church will be on more liberal stands on moral issues. Continue your many rosaries and masses for the remnant. In the world, the remnant is comprised of those conservatives unwilling to compromise the truth. A note is given to read Jude, chapter 17, verse 23. Warnings and Exhortations. But you must remember, beloved, the predictions of the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ. They said to you, In the last time there will be scoffers following their own ungodly passions. It is these who set up divisions, worldly people, devoid of the Spirit. But you, beloved, build yourselves up on your most holy faith. Pray in the Holy Spirit. Keep yourselves in the love of God. Wait for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ unto eternal life. And convince some who doubt. Save some by snatching them out of the fire. On some have mercy with fear, hating even the garment spotted by the flesh. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. January 1st, 2018, the Solemnity of Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God. Our Lady comes as refuge of holy love. She is holding a globe. She says, Praise be to Jesus. My daughter, I have come to reiterate that I desire your nation return to its roots and resume its role as a sanctuary for religious freedom. This is why your nation was founded. The pilgrims took flight here to escape the persecution in Europe. Renew your covenant with God to allow and protect even the most provincial of beliefs. All people and all nations deserve such security. These days, atheists and agnostics are given a wider gate than those who uphold the commandments. You must reverse this attitude this reverse discrimination. Allow my son his rightful place in your hearts. January 3rd, 2018. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, I am God, your eternal Father, Lord of all creation. The ordinances by which I call you to live, my commandments, and the description of holy love. 1 Paul to Corinthians chapter 13, 4 through 7. Should be displayed prominently in every home. 
If you do not know the rules, how can you obey them? The enemy of your soul opposes these laws and guidelines. He even suggests modification of what heaven has given. Everything you think, say, and do needs to pass through the prism of holy love to be worthy in my eyes. Do not allow the smoke of Satan to lead you astray. Use the criteria of holy love to discern your motivation. I desire to be present in each heart in every present moment. I wish to influence every heart to this good, which will stand the test of time. Change any attitude which opposes holy love, the embodiment of my commandments. A note is given to read 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 5. Therefore, do not pronounce judgment before the time, before the Lord comes, who will bring to light the things now hidden in darkness and will disclose the purposes of the heart. Then every man will receive his commendation from God. Another note is given to read 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, 14 through 15. If anyone refuses to obey what we say in this letter, note that man and have nothing to do with him, that he may be ashamed. Do not look on him as an enemy, but warn him as a brother. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. January 4th, 2018. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, I am Lord of the universe. I come to warn national leaders. You must not allow a war of words to ignite into a war of hostile action. A nuclear war would not produce a victory for anyone. The leader who does not understand this is a powerful weapon in Satan's hands. There are many who hold hidden agendas in their hearts. This guile prevents them from climbing the pinnacle of truth. Truth is the victory of my paternal heart over all lies and error. Truth is the victory of my dominion over mankind. Satan's job is to provoke trouble and unrest. This is his hallmark. Do not be fooled by his false solutions or his challenges of good solutions. The test is always humility and holy love in the heart. Ambition does not show itself in humility and love. A note is given to read 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, 12 through 22. But we beseech you, brethren, to respect those who labor among you and are over you in the Lord and admonish you, and to esteem them very highly in love because of their work. Be at peace among yourselves. And we exhort you, brethren, admonish the idle, encourage the faint-hearted, help the weak, be patient with them all. See that none of you repays evil for evil, but always seek to do good to one another and to all. Rejoice always, pray constantly, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Do not quench the spirit, do not despise prophesying, but test everything. Hold fast to what is good. Abstain from every form of evil. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. January 5th, 2018. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, I am the Alpha and the Omega. In me there is no time or space, only eternity. I order all things mightily. 
Do not war amongst yourselves, making issues that can be resolved through my majesty. Surrender your hearts to my dominion. Within the confines of my commandments is your peace and reconciliation. Why do you pursue your own will? There will be no change in the world so long as free will rules as your God. I have given all you need to have strong faith. Your free will compromises my truth. You cannot accomplish peace and security apart from me. Your surrender to this truth is vital to a secure future. Cooperate with my will through obedience to my commandments. A note is given to read Ephesians chapter 5, verse 15. Look carefully then how you walk, not as unwise men, but as wise. Scripture verse asked to be read by God the Father. January 6th, 2018. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, I am the eternal Father, God of all generations. When I speak of the heart of the world, I am referring to the combined hearts of all people, and all nations. Today, I tell you, the heart of the world does not comprehend the nature or extent of my wrath. If you did, you would be working feverishly to mitigate what is to come. The more the heart of the world resembles holy love, the greater my mercy in these end times. I am unimpressed with titles, authority, or wealth. I am not influenced by any worldly standards. I look only at the heart. The focus of the heart of the world needs to be on pleasing me and obeying my commandments. Draw others to me by example. Be more scrupulous about what you condone as acceptable and your definition of sin. A well-formed conscience is a great prize. Pray that the heart of the world recognizes this. A note is given to read 1 Timothy chapter 6, 14 through 16. I charge you to keep the commandment unstained and free from reproach until the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ, and this will be made manifest at the proper time by the blessed and only Sovereign, the King of kings and Lord of lords, who alone has immortality and dwells in unapproachable light, whom no man has ever seen or can see. To him be honor and eternal dominion. Amen. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. January 7th, 2018. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. This time, in front of the flame is a scale of justice. He says, Please note that as the scale of unrepentant sin grows heavier, the scale of my justice also increases. Mankind does not acknowledge his sins or my justice. That is why he is racing towards his own destruction. Some will repent in time. Others leave their salvation up to me and take no responsibility for it. These are the ones who disregard my commandments. They make up their own rules. Nothing matters to them except their present moment happiness. Today, I reiterate each one's responsibility to work out his salvation by allowing me dominion over his heart. Please me by obeying my commandments. This is the way to mitigate my justice. A note is given to read Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5, 15 through 18. 
But the righteous live forever, and their reward is with the Lord. The Most High takes care of them. Therefore they will receive a glorious crown and a beautiful diadem from the hand of the Lord, because with his right hand he will cover them, and with his arm he will shield them. The Lord will take his zeal as his whole armor and will arm all creation to repel his enemies. He will put on righteousness as a breastplate and wear impartial justice as a helmet. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. January 7, 2018. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. This time, in front of the flame is a scale of justice. He says, Please note that as the scale of unrepentant sin grows heavier, the scale of my justice also increases. Mankind does not acknowledge his sins or my justice. That is why he is racing towards his own destruction. Some will repent in time. Others leave their salvation up to me and take no responsibility for it. These are the ones who disregard my commandments. They make up their own rules. Nothing matters to them except their present moment happiness. Today, I reiterate each one's responsibility to work out his salvation by allowing me dominion over his heart. Please me by obeying my commandments. This is the way to mitigate my justice. A note is given to read Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5, 15 through 18. But the righteous live forever, and their reward is with the Lord. The Most High takes care of them. Therefore they will receive a glorious crown and a beautiful diadem from the hand of the Lord, because with his right hand he will cover them, and with his arm he will shield them. The Lord will take his zeal as his whole armor, and will arm all creation to repel his enemies. He will put on righteousness as a breastplate and wear impartial justice as a helmet. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. January 9th, 2018. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, I am Lord of all creation. All things are subject to me. To believe this is to trust. In order to trust, the soul needs to give the present moment over to me. This surrender means you accept whatever my divine will sends you. This is the attitude which makes your prayers stronger. This is the attitude which closes the gap between my heart and the heart of the world. Often when things seem the most desperate, it is this trustful surrender which pulls the greatest graces from my heart. So few believe this. Their lack of trust grieves me. I come to inspire each soul's trustful surrender in the present moment. A note is given to read Luke chapter 11, verse 10. For everyone who asks receives, and he who seeks finds, and to him who knocks it will be opened. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. January 10th, 2018. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of of God the Father. He says, I am the eternal Father of all generations. I come once again to remind mankind that the key to opening the door of my heart is reconciliation with, with each other and with my divine will. 
Differences in opinions must not divide you, but be considered with openness of heart. Do not plot against one another towards your own advantage. Overcome all guile, which serves self and not the common good. Be united in the truth of my dominion over you. Disbelief in my authority does not change the reality of this truth. The world is only united in so far as it grasps the truth of my authority. Nations that rise up in evil do not grasp this truth, but only compromise. I come to oppose all compromise of truth and all abuse of authority. Attitudes which oppose my efforts lead to war and countless natural disasters. Please note, these are on the increase. A note is given to read Ephesians chapter 5, 6 through 10. Let no one deceive you with empty words, for it is because of these things that the wrath of God comes upon the sons of disobedience. Therefore do not associate with them, for once you were darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of light, for the fruit of light is found in all that is good and right and true, and try to learn what is pleasing to the Lord. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. January 11th, 2018. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, I am the Lord of all creation. Tell me, which of my creations do you admire the most? Is it the air you breathe? Perhaps it is the opening and closing of each season. Or is it the millions of species of vegetation, animal life, and sea life? Each of these I created to perfection. Mankind, in his disrespect for me and my role as creator, has abused what I so generously gave him. The environment is polluted with man-made effort. So, too, the seas have been polluted. Misuse of many natural resources has resulted in want. It is not my provision that fa falls short, but man's priorities. He thinks of his immediate needs, not of the effect his actions may have on the future and future generations. There is a cure for every disease within nature. So much is lost in mankind's disregard for what is all around him. I can fill the atmosphere with my grace, but man must choose to respond wisely to it. My blessing rests upon those who look for my provision and use it with my guidance. A note is given to read Genesis chapter 1, 29 through 31. And God said, Behold, I have given you every plant yielding seed which is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree with seed in its fruit. You shall have them for food. And to every beast of the earth, and to every bird of the air, and to everything that creeps on the earth, everything that has the breath of life, I have given every green plant for food. And it was so. And God saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. And there was evening, and there was morning, a sixth day. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. January 12th, 2018. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, I am the eternal now, creator of time and space. I tell you the best way to prepare for the future is to prepare your hearts now by surrendering to my divine will. My will exists outside of time and space. 
There is no beginning nor end to my will. It is always perfect. To reject my will is to reject all the grace that comes with it. So often you do not have the time to debate what my will is. The best way to be united with my will is to base your decisions upon holy love. Holy love is never wrong. When you live in holy love, you walk hand in hand with the Holy Mother, with my Son, and with me. This is the path I give you around all violence, false religions, and laws which support sin and sinful lifestyles. Never think that mankind can legislate his way past sin. My laws are your legal precedents. To focus on holy love is to focus on my commandments. For this reason alone, holy love is the subject of attack. Do not listen to critics. Listen to me. A note is given to read 1 John chapter 3, 19 through 24, and chapter 4, verse 6. By this we shall know that we are of the truth and reassure our hearts before him whenever our hearts condemn us. For God is greater than our hearts, and he knows everything. Beloved, if our hearts do not condemn, condemn us, we have confidence before God, and we receive from him whatever we ask, because we keep his commandments and do what pleases him. And this is his commandment, that we should believe in the name of his Son, Jesus Christ, and love one another, just as he has commanded us. All who keep his commandments abide in him, and he in them. And by this we know that he abides in us, by the Spirit which he has given us. We are of God. Whoever knows God listens to us, and he who is not of God does not listen to us. By this we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. January 13th, 2018. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, I am the Father of all ages and of every generation. As such, I oversee every problem and every solution in the universe. Do not discount this. Depend upon my protection, provision, and intervention. As your Father, I long to guide you past your errors and around dangers. Much of this is making you recognize the enemy and where he lies hidden. Hearts conceal much evil while speaking only that which people want to hear. Do not trust countries who speak of peace, but have a history of deceit and even violence. Many wars have been precipitated by trusting in the wrong people. You have in your midst, in your government, those who hold hidden agendas in their hearts. They misinform others and seek more and more power. When they become politically strong, they then show their hidden agendas to others and promote them. War is not started by external forces, but always by evil within hearts. What is in the heart of the world influences every nuance of the future. Therefore, truth cannot be victorious until it is victorious in all hearts. To help in the battle Satan is waging against the truth, be a sign of the truth in the world. Always acknowledge my dominion over you and every situation in every present moment. Be loving and peaceable in every conflict. Turn my will into your victory. 
Each one must change before the future of the world can change. The greatest portion of every victory is the victory of the truth. A note is given to read Baruch, chapter 3, 12 through 14. You have forsaken the fountain of wisdom. If you had walked in the way of God, you would be dwelling in peace forever. Learn where there is wisdom, where there is strength, where there is understanding, that you may at the same time discern where there is length of days and life, where there is light for the eyes and peace. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. January 14th, 2018. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, I am God, Father of all creation. My authority reaches from age to age. Conflicts arise when man chooses his own authority over mine. You then have the tumult of war, violence, and confused values. The morals of the day prove my point. Man chooses pleasure over and above my commandments. Politics have consumed moral issues. This makes popularity the dictator of truth instead of me. My commandments never change to please people, just as the truth never changes. Surrender every aspect of your life to me. If your surrender is complete, you will not live in conflict, but know the sure path. Pray and you will be shown the way that the commandments govern your every decision. A note is given to read Lamentations, chapter 3, verse 40. Let us test and examine our ways and return to the Lord. Scripture verse asked to be read by God the Father. January 15th. 2018. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, I am the Father of all life and reconciliation. Man does not see his role in civilization as one of peacemaker. If he did, the world would be transformed into the image of paradise. There would be no conflict between free will and my divine will. Every resource would be used according to my divine plan. Choices between good and evil would be clear. As it is, heavenly intervention such as this apparition site fail to impact free will decisions as the heart of the world remains skeptical. People do not do not accept my fatherly love and protection. They readily accept error, errors which placate the world, the flesh, and the devil. I keep a steady hand on the pulse of the world. It is racing towards self-destruction. I wish to reset the clock of life. Pray for this. A note is given to read 1 Peter chapter 4. 7 through 8. The end of all things is at hand. Therefore, keep sane and sober for your prayers. Above all, hold unfailing your love for one another, since love covers a multitude of sins. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. January 16th, 2018. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, I am God, Father of the universe. I invite you to see that nations who do not believe in me and abide by my commandments are nations who embrace violence, terrorism, and dictatorships. Without accountability to me in the present moment, those who choose falsehood over the truth 
feel justified in every sort of hatred and deplorable actions. This distorted thinking does not change the truth of what is good and what is evil. Embrace in your hearts my commandments, for they are a solid tool of discernment. Do not entertain in your hearts compromise, no matter the source. These days the abuse of authority runs rampant. Do not chase popularity. Seek only to please me. In the end, each soul will be judged not on what others believe or approve of, but what is in his own heart, good or evil. January 17, 2018. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, I am the eternal now, creator of every present moment. My paternal heart burns with eternal love for all humanity. No amount of evil can change this truth. My heart is a flame which is never extinguished. I long to plunge all of humanity herein. All that prevents this is free will, which is used towards good or evil. I can easily change future events with the blink of an eye or with one thought. The problem is my children do not recognize my power to do so. Therefore they try to manage without me. What a difference it would make if people would surrender their day to my charge when they arise. Just by saying, Lord God, make your power known to me today in every situation. That would change much. A note is given to read Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7, 15 through 22. Solomon prays for wisdom. May God grant that I speak with judgment and have thoughts worthy of what I have received. For he is the guide even of wisdom and the corrector of the wise. For both we and our words are in his hand, as are all understanding and skill in crafts. For it is he who gave me unerring knowledge of what exists, to know the structure of the world and the activity of the elements, the beginning and end and middle of times the alternations of the solstices and the changes of the seasons, the cycles of the year and the constellations of the stars, the natures of animals and the tempers of wild beasts, the powers of spirits and the reasonings of men, the varieties of plants and the virtues of roots. I learned both what is secret and what is manifest for wisdom, the fashioner of all things, taught me. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. January 18th, 2018. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, I am creator of all good. I transcend time and space to speak to you. In the world, there are many problems, circumstances, and situations. Most of these begin in time and end in time. Man has become dependent upon his own efforts and the efforts of others in dealing with day-to-day -day problems. As creator and father, I desire mankind learn to depend upon me. My omnipotence is the solution. When others come to man's rescue, it is because I have sent them. When circumstances meld together to form a solution, it is by my will it happens. I always have the perfect plan even in certain failure. Problems test the virtues of patience and perseverance. You must practice a virtue. 
in order to be stronger in it. And note is given to read 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. January 19th, 2018. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, I am God, Father of the universe. In me is the beginning and the end. My time is endless. I desire all of creation be united in this endless time. When your neighbor comes to you for help, offer to pray for him. Do not criticize him for complaining. You may be the only one he confides in. Some do not have a support system in the world. Be of one heart and one mind, always compassionate towards one another's needs and depth of suffering. Scripture is full of stories of how my son was approached with the needs of others. Just listen. If the suffering is something I desire the soul offer up, then he or she will not be healed. I put you, each of you, in the path of those I desire you assist, either by prayer, sacrifice, or physical or emotional assistance. Do not let these opportunities slip through your fingers because you judge your role to be otherwise. A note is given to read Philippians chapter 2, 1 through 4. So if there is any encouragement in Christ, any incentive of love, any participation in the Spirit, any affection and sympathy, complete my joy by being of the same mind, having the same love, being in full accord and of one mind. Do nothing from selfishness or conceit, but in humility count others better than yourselves. Let each of you look not only to his own interests, but also to the interests of others. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. January 20th, 2018. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, I am God, Father of all ages. In days of old, people were forewarned of my coming wrath when the rains would not stop and the great flood was beginning. Some began to turn to me and seek my intercession. Others never did. If these times could be compared to the days of Noah, I would say you are already in your tenth day of ongoing rain. The difference is you are not contending with a flood of rain but a flood of violence and compromised moral standards. Many, most, do not recognize this as a threat to their well-being or as an antagonizing element to my wrath. They see it as just a sign of the times. Most do not even anticipate my wrath, but accountability is coming as surely as puddles in a rainstorm. My warning to you these days is not raindrops, but an increasing lack of security. Turn to me, O man of earth. I am your deliverance from all that threatens you. Your ark is the heart of the Holy Mother, refuge of holy love. A note is given to read Genesis chapter 7, verse 17. The flood continued forty days upon the earth, and the waters increased, and bore up the ark, and it rose high above the earth. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. January 21st, 2018, the 32nd anniversary of Mary, Protectress of the Faith. 
Once again, I, Moraine, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, I am the eternal now, creator of time and space. In me is all truth, every solution. This is the day designated as the Feast of Mary, Protectress of the Faith. With lack of gratitude, man received this grace, even though the graces attendant to this title are miraculous. This title was given at a time when the tradition of faith was at great risk, and today it continues and imperils the truth. Just calling upon the protectress sends Satan retreating. His attacks are weakened and his evil revealed. I suffered greatly during my son's passion so that this title could be revealed to mankind. Imagine my chagrin when it was not supported by the very ones who needed it the most, my church. These days, faith is regarded as a take-or-leave choice, something like life in the womb, the precious treasure of all ages, the tradition of faith, is not viewed as something that needs or is worthy of special protection. Those who do not treasure their faith are already in Satan's grasp. You can readily see this stands for a great portion of the heart of the world. Today, I ask clergy and religious to rely upon the protectress of the faith to safeguard the treasure of their vocations, which are so greatly under attack. Ask for the grace to recognize attacks against your faith. All of the ones who support this ministry should do so as well. A note is given to read Ephesians chapter 6, 10 through 20. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we are not contending against flesh and blood, but against the principalities, against the powers, against the world rulers of this present darkness, against the spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. Stand, therefore, having girded your loins with truth and having put on the breastplate of righteousness and having shod your feet with the equipment of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith with which you can quench all the flaming darts of the evil one. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Pray at all times in the Spirit with all prayer and supplication. To that end, keep alert with all perseverance, making supplication for all the saints and also for me, that utterance may be given me in opening my mouth boldly to proclaim the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in chains, that I may declare it boldly as I ought to speak. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. January 22nd, 2018. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, I am God, founder of the truth. The focus of every investigation should be on discovering the truth. Unfortunately, many so-called investigations these days focus on denying the truth. People must be careful not to believe the findings of every investigation. Selfish, ulterior motives are too often the inspiration of some fact-finding efforts. You do not have to look far to see this. Take, for instance, the trumped-up investigation aimed at this mission. 
When the door of the investigation opened, truth flew out the window. It was designed as an effort to look honest, but to negate the mission. These days, words are used to accomplish evil. An honest investigation does not convene with preconceived opinions or goals. In the world of politics, you have many distracting and similar investigations. A note is given to read Jude chapter 17, verse 23, warnings and exhortations. But you must remember, beloved, the predictions of the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ. They said to you, in the last time there will be scoffers following their own ungodly passions. It is these who set up divisions, worldly people devoid of the Spirit. But you, beloved, build yourselves up on your most holy faith. Pray in the Holy Spirit. Keep yourselves in the love of God. Wait for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ unto eternal life. And convince some who doubt. Save some by snatching them out of the fire. On some have mercy with fear, hating even the garment spotted by the flesh. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. January 23rd. 2018. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, I am the Father of all generations. I come to unite the heart of man with my paternal heart. The sin most insidious which obstructs the way is unforgiveness. The anatomy of unforgiveness is always based upon pride. So often the soul cannot accept that he was treated unfairly. Then, too, he cannot accept the faults of others, even though his own faults may be much worse. This is a form of sanctimony. When you are shown the faults of others, it is not to be held against the person, but to pray for him. Another trap is unforgiveness of self, which is guilt. This, too, is a pride, as the soul cannot accept his human sinfulness. Unforgiveness focuses on self. Forgiveness is an imitation of divine mercy. A note is given to read Ephesians chapter 4, 31 through 32. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and slander be put away from you with all malice, and be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, as God in Christ forgave you. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. January 24th, 2018. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, I am Father of all ages. Turn to me. I protect and guide. In order for a soul to forgive, he must cooperate with the graces given to forgive. This brings to light a basic tenet of holy love, that is to make allowances. With compassion, look upon those you need to forgive and pray that their consciences convict them before my son judges them. Search your own heart to rid yourself of any residual bitterness. Ask to be washed clean in holy love. This frees your spirit of any obstacle between your heart and my own. Patiently pray for those in whom you see error. Do not slip into sanctimony. A note is given to read 1 Corinthians chapter 13, 4 through 7. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful. It is not arrogant or rude. Love does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrong, but rejoices in the right. Love bears all things, believes all things hopes all things, 
endures all things. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. January 25th, 2018. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, I am the Father of all ages. Today, I point out to you that unforgiveness brings with it a darkness of the spirit. When the soul decides to forgive everyone, his heart is flooded with the light of the truth. Then there is no space between his heart and mine. I listen to his every petition, be it spoken or unspoken. I repair relationships in his life. I change circumstances to his advantage. If the soul recalls any moment from the past that involved unforgiveness, he must forgive all over again. Holding a grudge is always from Satan and an acceptance of his darkness. There are many in purgatory today who nurtured grudges during their lifetime. They were given the grace to forgive, but did not accept it. Imitate divine mercy, which forgives over and over, often for the same wrongs. A note is given to read 2 Timothy chapter 2, 24 through 26. And the Lord's servant must not be quarrelsome, but kindly to everyone, an apt teacher forbearing, correcting his opponents with gentleness. God may perhaps grant that they will repent and come to know the truth, and they may escape from the snare of the devil after being captured by him to do his will. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. January 26, 2018. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, I am here, he who created time and space. Your nation and the world have adopted what is called a new morality. In reality, there is nothing new about these loose morals. Consider Sodom and Gomorrah. The only difference between what was deemed acceptable back then and now is back then there was no mass media to help spread error. Where sin is accepted by mass media, most do not take the time to realize what is being condoned. So it is, I bring to the forefront my commandments. My commandments outline righteousness and define sin. The embrace of my commandments is the embrace of holy love. Do not waste time in debating this. The change the heart of the world needs is given to you in my commandments. Do not allow your hearts to be compromised by those who do not accept the truth. Be the influence of good over evil. A note is given to read 2 Timothy chapter 2, 1 through 4. You then, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus, and what you have heard from me before many witnesses entrust to faithful men who will be able to teach others also. Take your share of suffering as a good soldier of Christ Jesus. No soldier on service gets entangled in civilian pursuits, since his aim is to satisfy the one who enlisted him. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. January 27, 2018. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, I am the peace of all who will listen to me. I am the reconciliation of all nations. Today, I tell you, do not get distracted by the multiple investigations going on in your government. Most are evil, trying to dismantle good. Keep your hearts focused on the ultimate goals you set out to achieve. Unity amongst all nations. Prosperity which touches the poor. Freedom of religion. 
These goals are all things Satan opposes. Do you not see his hand at play here? Change the course of human events by not cooperating with every controversy. This is the way to conquer evil and bring truth to victory. A note is given to read 1 Timothy chapter 4, 7 through 8. Have nothing to do with godless and silly myths. Train yourself in godliness. For while bodily training is of some value, godliness is of value in every way, as it holds promise for the present life and also for the life to come. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. January 28th, 2018. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, I am Lord of the universe, creator of this and every present moment. I choose these times and this format to draw the heart of the world back into the state of reality. Each soul has the responsibility of choosing good over evil. Not to do so results in sin. This neglect of discernment has drawn the heart of the world off the path that leads to my heart, the path of righteousness. If you only look at a couple of ways this is most evident, consider politics and entertainment. Confusion rules the political scene. Loose morals have taken over most forms of entertainment. All of this is supported by mass media. Do not wonder, then, that my words to you are challenged. Keep your focus on my commandments, which safeguard the righteousness in your heart. Seek my intercession against every attack. A note is given to read 2 Peter chapter 2, 21 through 22. For it would have been better for them never to have known the way of righteousness than, after knowing it, to turn back from the holy commandment delivered to them. It has happened to them according to the true proverb, The dog turns back to his own vomit, and the sow is washed only to wallow in the mire. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. January 29th, 2018. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, I am the loving Father of all people and all nations. I cannot change the choices people make. I can change the consequences and circumstances that are the result of free will choices. Much of the future is the bad or good fruit of what is in hearts. If people really understood this, they would ask their angels to protect their hearts more often. What you accept in your heart as truth affects the world around you, the way you relate to others, the issues you support or do not support, every thought, word, and deed. Therefore, accept the truth that evil is very much a part of the world. Pray daily to recognize evil and how it is influencing your moment-to-moment decisions. Then, pray to recognize how evil is influencing others around you. Evil takes you away from holy love and affects how you treat others. Pray that your goals are always my goals. A note is given to read Colossians chapter 2, 8 through 10. See to it that no one makes a prey of you by philosophy and empty deceit, according to human tradition, according to the elemental spirits of the universe, and not according to Christ. For in him the whole fullness of deity dwells bodily, and you have come to fullness of life in him, who is the head of all rule and authority. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. 
January 30th, 2018. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, I am the Father of time and space. I come once again transported out of necessity and love. It is the compromise of truth and the abuse of authority which are drawing the world into self-destruction. The future is always affected by the present. The present is molded according to what is in hearts. Therefore I come to change hearts from selfish love to holy love. To love me above all else is primary to your well-being. This is the commandment which supports devotion to all the others. The commandments hold the heart in righteousness and away from error and sin. If you love me, you will seek always to please me. This is the path which leads away from confusion, controversy, and self-righteousness. This is the love which exposes evil and guile. Turn to me in the light of truth, the truth which convicts hearts and changes agendas, the truth which unites. A note is given to read Colossians chapter 3, 12 through 14. Put on, then, as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, compassion, kindness, lowliness, meekness, and patience, forbearing one another, and, if one has a complaint against another, forgiving each other, as the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. And above all these, put on love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. January 31st, 2018. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, I am the creator father of all ages. I tell you the key to mankind's peace is trust in me and my dominion over him. The more perfect the trust, the more perfect the peace in man's heart. Satan's way of unsettling you is to destroy your hope in the future. Hope is trust in my will. Man cannot understand or accept my will outside of hope. Therefore understand that discouragement is the handiwork of Satan. Never surrender to it. Trust in my dominion over you in every present moment. A note is given to read 1 John chapter 3, verse 3. And every one who thus hopes in him purifies himself as he is pure. Scripture verse asked to be read by God the Father.